Hey, so um, How wonderful. have any juice for Welcome, me? Outlander. I don't have any juice. But you need the office of insertion in the cat deposit. Go then find in two bones. She needs some um, to deliver there for her. Okay. Office of intercession? Where's that? The office is in the can. Its head is Sir Ando Arofi, Major Mordo of the Holy Crossing. <laughs> um, maybe I can ask Ona oh, no, for directions. The things have asked me. Evarinum. Aha! If you believe you are wrong, I remember the temple. Fear that our dogmas were misinterpreted or so. And we may leave a plea here. We will make sure everything was in accordance to the secret texts and decrees of Elspie and punish the guilty if necessary. Um, that's nice, no, but I'm, I'm not going there for that, and I don't even know where that is. Okay. This seems like a more reasonable place for. And obviously, um, Sanctum, is that it there? Yes. Okay, you might well be the first time until I read too much and got confused. Anyway, uh, you... Well, I've been, you've been lacking your duties. So, where I am I getting this letter from? It is such an honor to meet you. Elder Ron. Aha! Hello! Welcome I've been looking for you. You're the courier I asked for? Good. Ahem! I need you to deliver this letter to Indu Danvas. What? Indu Danvas can be found in Rodir. You do know the way to Rodir, don't you? The Indu Chapel Estate, just east of here, is the last. See, as you can see, that is meant for the young lord eyes only. So make sure you had to him personally. One can never be too careful these days. Here's some coin for the road, um, so, road here. Top of here, and all the principal hiding of the indoor. Yeah, it's all there. Indoor chapters are a mad complex from which the highest ranking indoor govern their lands. So I can. Slaughter of road here. Council of the Great House and Door. Okay, so I'm going to a great chapel east of here. Mm. Pardon me, for pardon you, sir. But perhaps can you to indoor Danvers? Yes, is is that a problem? Yes, you're coming there from my young lordling round here, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, that's right. Very well. I'd like you to give that letter to me, if you please. Why? Dorvon is born novice for the, working for the Office of Intercession. I find it rather unusual that she'll be writing to the son of Indol Ilvi without concerning me or the magic mo. I want to review that before you deliver it. That's all. I'll get back to you after I've read. Hmm. Do you have any reason to be suspicious of her? Well, ahem, no, not really. She's always been an exemplary servant of the three. A little foolish, perhaps, but too for humble. I impress her faith or de her devotion to Temple. Do you have nothing to worry about them? Yes, uh, I guess you're right. I bet you good day, sir. Walk in Vel's footsteps. Hmm, it did seem a little suspicious when... It's welcome out I first talk for her, but I was... Hmm, I want to carry this out and see what happened because of it. Is, is that there? That's oh, amazing, whatever it is. Looks like it on the map. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, um, where's the most conventional way to... 
get to from here. I mean, why build docks there? Why not a bridge? Okay. Uh, why does the entrance have to be so roundabout? Okay, finally a conventional entrance. Hello. I'm Force Golden Do, customer Too Long and mind your manners. Counter, it was Lord of the Eastern Alphum, Defender of Alphum Sphere. House in Dawn's War. Lord. Hello. Hey, um, I find him. Hmm. Now, what's this here? A watchtower. Hey, um. Okay, so. Crossing up the lamps? That. That sounds familiar. Yeah, I. Is this related to the twin lamps at all? Hello? Greetings, Outlander. I'm Jaya, steward to Mufasil. In all of it. In matters pertaining to law and judgment, among other things. Not interested, we're looking for an outlander like you. Conduct an investigation to Civic Tongue. Okay. The Civic Tongue are a guild offering elf bull. So, um. God, this place will drive me mad! Did you see that right on the floor when you entered? There are skulls down there! Skulls! And I think they're of their relatives! No wonder their ghosts are so noisy! <laughs> the Emperor's Law. So is that... Is that the place I'm going to? What? Oh. Looking for them, I'll have a look there anyway. Statesman's Hall. Oh! Statue of Armalexia. Oh, what goes on here? Hello? Oh! I've uh, excuse me. Go ahead. Another Outlander tourist who comes to Rome to talk at Three lights and famous kennels. But planning on staying, I hope. Often, only Glossy City can ride with kennels and stately bridges in beauty and splendor. Anyway, um, two chapters are manor complex from which the highest ranking one doe govern the land. Don't give Council Ivy is the lord of Eastern Ephraim and defender of atmosphere and house doors portal. Damn. So, in the east, found in the Chapel Estate. What? It certainly is an interesting city. Difficult to navigate around, too. Um, I don't understand how to get around the city at all. I don't. Aha! So, where does this lead to? Not just a watchtower, is it? Oh, it's a sanctum. Hmm. Sounds like I'm getting close. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, this is quite the view. Whoa! I... Let's see if I can jump across. Otherwise, I'll have to levitate. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, that lantern got in the way. Um, might not be possible to jump across to it then.
Okay, so... Sign of Armalexia's Mercy. Check my donation of zero. Make a few blessing. Okay, um... I'll take... Armalexia's Mercy. Hmm. Anyway, uh, still haven't found... Hello? Haven't I heard of you? Whoa, um... The... What is that? Oh! Three blessings, Sarah. Hello. Does Rod, uh, please you out there? Right here is house and door fall uh, on the roof. Yeah, river. Only in the dust to see can... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, your are there from young Sergio can be found meditating by a shrine of his ancestors in the bottom floor of Crescent Labs. Oh, so, so that, all along that building there was where I was supposed to go. Oh, well, let's see a cycle of sea, um, from looks of him, this is actually, uh, Morang Tong Guild Hall, um, so, we have to unlock that as a test. Do you mind if I unlock that? No, you don't. Okay. And, uh, where... Hey, wait. That's... That's all there is? I... I was expecting a... Like a whole wall or something. Hey, okay, aha! That must be him and there's... The skull that guy up there mentioned. <laughs> Whoa. Lots of skulls. <laughs> oh, blood. Anyway, if you come to our door and speak my father, make it quick. There are countless matters that require his attention. No, I... I have a little for you. There from into a round. Thank you. Here you go. Consider this letter delivered. Ah, hmm. But you're not a mere courier, are you, Outlander? You're a sworn member of the temple. An outlander following the teacher of the teachings of the free. How unusual. In fact, perhaps you could offer some unique insight to a dilemma I'm facing. It's the problem of a good death. The, the problem of a good death what? Oh no, it's not what you think. I'm not facing death myself. The problem concerns a slave. And my father, the illuminate. Oh! Th thanks for raid! <laughs> Lumnus Guardia? The problem concerns of slave. I owe Elder Scrolls, mm hmm. My father, Lumnus Door Ellie, I see it fit that I should be the one to resolve that. Allow me to start from the beginning, okay? There's an incident at the pier. Our slaves were unloading cargo from a ship when one of them fell down from the gangway. I do not know if it was simple clumsiness or fear. If he was trying to escape. But the fall ended badly for him nonetheless. The slave got trapped and crushed beneath the ship's hull and the dock. The others managed to drag him out of the water. But I'm told that he doesn't have an unbroken bone in his body and he's only dying so deaf. Oh. So you see, the problem is what to do now. The slave is sure to die. But the man which he dies but in my hands. I won't do what's right. I've meditated on some quite some time now. But I've not found a clear answer. Since you're both a devout both temple and an outlander, I'm interested to hear your perspectives, Lana. What do you think would be the right thing for me to do? Please don't let me fade by my slaves in response. Speak free. Well, um, firstly, it's not right to own slaves to begin with. Oh, so you think the premise my dilemma is fundamentally flawed? You are an outlander. And so I understand why you have an aversion towards slavery. I won't do too much of a raspy, dark elf voice that hurts my throat. I cannot fault you for falling victim to horrific stories you've heard. 
from Western biologists. Their views are based on ignorance and sentimentality, a deep hatred towards our ancient custom. But, but, you are full of the temple and first and foremost, are you not? This is the world of. Oh, it is because the kind of people will it so. The hierarchies of our society stand still, each according to their divine wishes. Surely the temple will still follow the teachings of Tripura rather than rooms of a outland of bonus? Tripura also treats us compassion, yeah, that. Yes. And that is, is true. Are you perhaps implying that I lack compassion? Surely, being in a position of power doesn't inherently mean that one is uncaring. Do not free themselves through absolute lords and masters over soul? Hmm. Yet, who could accuse them of being a cruel and void company? No. They are like kind of. We moles are their flock. Simply, a good mass treats safe profession. I strive for good. That is why I want to give I said good death. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what? I say, this is a good death. What do you think? to be done. Give him a... Give him a quick death. Give him an uncle death. Hmm. He what if... Are you sure he's... If he else should tend to save and try and try to save him. I can't help but one of you being real awfully ignorant. Of the hopeness of the situation. The slave's doom. There's no healer on the sky that could help him. If he uses to try. Uh, I'll resolve this man on my own. You may go out, Lana. Are you sure? But. Alright, alright. <laughs>